How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Pastor, I ain't gonna be long. I see it on your face. You like, what I'm here for? <laughs> First off, we want to say God is the greatest. All right. And when I talk, I talk with passion. So I want y'all to bear with me. Listen closely. Mother, mama, I call you mama. Uh, We've been introduced since 2003, big bro. So, you know, it's real family. Corey, what's going on? Um, <laughs> y'all gave us an icon. Y'all gave us a legend. You know, we all on borrowed time. So the things that he accomplished while he was here, we want to let y'all know that we're going to continue on his legacy. And even through the small amount of time, it made a big impact. You understand? And I know he's the head of the household, and a lot of people in here is probably questioning. Now, there's two ways to ask questions. The first way to ask questions is you're asking because you're trying to learn the knowledge so you can apply it to future understandings. And the second way to ask questions is you're questioning because you want to question the reasoning for what's going on. And the second way of questioning can be disobedience. So we always have to go with the first way of how we ask questions, not why is this happening, not why is this happening to me. No, we have to ask God, what is the purpose? What is the lesson? How do I apply this to my future understanding? Because this the end. He's at peace. One day we too shall do this. He's still leading. He said, I got to go to see what's going on. But as you can see, I'm still leading. You shall follow. So at the end of the day, y'all, Mom, I want to let you know, because we talked yesterday, and when we talked yesterday, I was just observing, and I, I, I want you to know that you are being obedient. The way you spoke, your energy, the way you talk, your head. Corey said it yesterday. She said, I'm going off how my mama going. <laughs> but how you move, Emma, is how we supposed to move during these times. Because all the morals and the doctrines, this is the only time that we really apply it. When we hurt Job, everybody go read the book of Job. Just read the book of Job. He took everything from Job. He kept snatching everything from Job. And Job, like every Christian that, you know, everybody like, you know, I put so much good into the world. Why? So much bad coming to me. He's like, you know what? I ain't really been bad to nobody. I just want to talk to him. I want to ask him why, why he doing this to me? God looked at him and said, who are you talking to? Why not you? This is the time for you to praise my name. This is the time for you to tell the other people through the Mr. Pain, I'm the one that's giving you the strength, fool. So when people think you crazy, Ma, you ain't crazy, you being obedient. And I'm here to tell the family, big bro, so it's time to be obedient. It's time to take charge. Because I know the twilight zone is real, but guess what? It's real. It's, this is the real. And I understand the pain. This is a familiar pain. And I'm here to tell you as a soldier, I'm scrapped up with you. I'm ready to fight with you. You understand? So continue to be a leader to the family. Listen, it ain't over with, y'all. It ain't over with. He did what he was supposed to do. We all on borrowed time. Nobody in here know how they going to leave. But when you leave and we meet our maker, we want to make sure, hey, wasn't I obedient? Didn't I do the best I could? So we're going to keep his name alive, and I want to tell the family, I love y'all, and I'm here with you forever. Keep God first, everybody. Quan, I love you, big bro. You a legend.